Just a good old boy Never meaning no harm Beats all you never saw Been in trouble with the law Since the day they was born all right, so today is something that uh, most things probably get swept under the table because people don't think about things like this, and that's probably what yields unprogressive, I guess if that's the word, the opposite of making progress or continual progress and consistency. Um, but like when you're traveling, for instance, Cade's in town. This is his. Um, this is his lunchbox. Um, and what Cade likes to do when he travels is he likes to make, he likes to buy mega fit meals and there's nothing wrong with that. It, it, it's something fresh for him that he can, um, that he can, you know, you spend a little money, you spend a little extra money, you get what you want, exactly what you want. And then that is then there shipped to whatever location that he's going to. He, whatever apartment, hotel, you know, room number. And so... When I travel, some things that like like he already ordered these. He knows he, he told them how how much uh, protein and how much carbs, and so that would that would um, alleviate the the need of a scale. But I always take a scale with me, and it usually sits um, in this pocket right here. And you don't have to have a uh, you don't have to have a six pack bag. These are old school. I don't know if people even use use these anymore because of all the new things. But like so, boom. And then I've got I've got one, two, three, four, five, five meals, and a shake that I always keep anytime I travel, and it's usually got um, whey and oatmeal in it. And so, so I can't go anywhere without like what I'm saying is no matter how delayed my flight gets, if I've got five meals and a shake, so six meals, and say worst comes to worst where I get delayed or any of that. I've got enough time bought right here with what I need. I can I can be prepared for eight, nine, and ten meals, which would more than likely be the next day. But so a couple things that I always travel with is you got a you got a spoon and you got a fork. Um, this is just something that I picked up recently. Is like I've always I've always usually traveled with a fork and ate with a fork, but. Um, several of my clients have always just used big spoons and, and now that I've been doing this as long as I have I'm like damn like when you're driving nothing's worse than trying to eat with a fork and like you're like it falls off the fork but if you use a big spoon I feel like that's kind of almost a cheat code for when you're eating and driving or just want to get it down fast so now I don't go anywhere without a big spoon they're in my truck they're in all of my vehicles they're in my lunchbox um, but and then you know your salt and your salt and pepper and then like he's got a condiment in here so he he doesn't leave without a condiment and that's one that I usually take unless I'm going to the airport he's got um, he's got his spoons he's got his toothbrush and um, he's got his meals so w w what else he's got in there doesn't matter but um, again this is just another tool of being prepared like I said I don't leave the house without that. Now, I don't leave the house every time with five meals and a protein shake because I, I can gauge how long I'm gonna be gone and what have you, but um, like anytime I travel um, in the airport or things like that, like I prefer to like, I, if I travel to the airport, I like to have enough meals, prepped meals, weighed out to get me to where I'm going. And then a lot of time, like in these side pockets, which I don't have now, but I, I will take like protein cooked, whether it's chicken or ground turkey or, or ground beef. And <clears throat> that way, when I land, the, eat, the, the simplest thing I have to do is just get minute rice that I can, that I can microwave. So again, like I, I, have, I have clients or other people from time to time, they just, they just up and leave. And they don't think about, they don't think about what the next meal is going to come from by the time they get there and so when you do that you're setting yourself up for 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 uh, failure because you're not planning and so i think that a lot of my success has come from not allowing things like that and i know Kate would say the same thing is like 
I never allowed myself to be like, oh fuck, you know, I got caught with my pants down. I've been, I've been, I've had delayed flights and, and what have you. But anyways, and, and, and to be honest with you, this is just something that I've started doing recently is, um, I'm not a huge protein bar fan, but since working with Mark, um, I have started trying his outright bars and um, I, I usually keep like two protein bars in in my coolers or my travel bag because every now and then every now and then it's just a good treat i don't i don't take that for like oh that's a meal in case i miss a meal but from time to time it's good to pull out something and, it, and it's protein so uh like i said i'm not huge on protein bars but mark actually makes a couple good a couple good flavors that i do like so um yeah that's just something i wanted to add i think that this is kind of like the back video the sleeping video i think um as simple as it may be it just gets overlooked really easy and so you know you know you don't have to have a six-pack bag you don't have to have a whatever name brand bag that is but you know the the whole the cold the whole goal and key here is to just make your process a little more streamlined and so that's what we've done and that's why you know he's he, he was he was telling us today on the podcast that uh he won Mr. Tennessee in 2014. It's 2023, almost 2024. So that was, you know, that was uh, ten, 10 years ago. And so to do something and be that good for that long, it, it takes little habits like this that that are every single day. Not only when we travel and go, you know, to another state or another show or, or, or things like that, but it's um, it's little things like that that you got to have built in. And that's what I call it. It's like, that's built in. It's built in that I'm gonna have a, um, a protein shake with oatmeal in it in my travel bag at all times. No matter what, I can pull that out and that can be a go-to meal that's, that I can eat that anywhere. Or I can you know consume that anywhere. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm never without a fork. I don't always have to have condiments, but you know, I've got my salt and my pepper. And uh, so that's that. I uh, appreciate you guys watching and um, We'll keep dropping little tidbits like that. Fighting the system like a two modern day Robin Hood.